Praise God, my brothers and sisters. Good morning, wherever you are. It's a beautiful day that the Lord has made where you and I have to rejoice and be glad in it. God is good and His mercy and yours forever, my dear friends. And today is a good day He has made for all of us. I thank God for you. This is April. You know, and you're talking about the heart of God. You're talking about the heart of God. And today, my dear friends, you're talking about breathing fountains. Breathing fountains. I'm talking about this because I know that we are fountains that God wants us. Everything we do, we are walking, breathing fountains. We are alive as fountains of life. That from us flows rivers of living water, based on what I read. But also we are telling God that may heaven be expressed through us. Because we are breathing fountains. But I'm not a dead fountain, I'm a breathing fountain. I have have experiences and I live my life as a fountain of God. That's so wonderful. Because he's the source. I read from John 7, 38, it says this. Believe in me so that the rivers of living water will burst out from within you, flowing from your innermost being, just like the scripture says. This is so powerful, Christ is saying this. Believe in me that the rivers, rivers of living water will burst out from within you. Meaning that if I allow myself to be a breathing fountain, it means that these rivers of living water are already stored in me. But if I believe in God and I believe in Jesus and I put my heart in him, And I believe that the Father's heart is a generous heart. The Father's heart is a good heart. The Father's heart is a loving heart. The Father's heart always wants to outdo my heart. Then therefore, my dear friends, I become a breathing fountain, a walking, living fountain. You know, one thing about a fountain is that it's always where it is supposed to be. It never moves, you know. If you travel somewhere and see a beautiful fountain, you know, it is where it's supposed to be, you know. And so it never moves where it's where, where it never moves elsewhere the best you do is take a video and record you know but if i'm a breathing fountain it means i'm a breathing living fountain it means everywhere that i go that the that 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 springs of living water are pouring from me but if i get married the streams of living water are flowing in my into my marriage in my business the streams of living water are flowing into it you know when i go for, to, to to meet my in-laws it is flowing when i go to my finances it is flowing i'm a breathing walking talking fountain that's what i mean today and the only key here is that to believe that in the heart of god is to give you that which you to give you more than you desire to give you more than you deserve because that's, that's how good god is today i'm praying for you my brothers and sisters that as you leave your house to go wherever you are that you may be a breathing fountain but everything you touch, the heavens will touch it today. That the goodness of God will touch it today. That you are not going to be located or to succeed in one area of your life, but that you succeed in every area of your life. That not only one way do you have a breakthrough, you have a breakthrough in every area of your life. That's what a breathing fountain is. He says this, springs of living water will burst out from within you. The word burst here is this, that it's a lot it has been bubbling under. It's come to saturation point. But the only thing that can happen now is there has to be an overflow. There has to be an overflow. The pressure is too much. The living water is so much in your innermost that there's a manifestation around you. Everywhere you go, life comes. Everywhere you go, people get refreshed. You join a WhatsApp group, there's a refreshment. People get refreshed because you're there. You join a charm, people get refreshed because you're there. You come to someone's life, they get refreshed because you're there. In your workplace, the same thing. There's a refreshing spirit that flows from you. Because, my dear friends, you've given your heart to God and rivers, rivers of living water flow from you. May that be your portion today. In Jesus' name, let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for the gift of life, your Holy Spirit, your goodness that endures from season to season, generation to, to, to generation. Father, I pray today for your sons and daughters. May you pour, Almighty Father, in their lives, King of, King of uh, Kings, that river of living water. May they be an explosion in their lives. Whatever they touch, Almighty Father, may the springs of living water go. I'm saying that, Lord, every area of their life may it be successful, may it prosper. May them prosper in one area and struggle in another. May you open doors for them to prosper and to succeed in every area of their lives. Because, Lord, we are saying today that they are breathing, walking, talking, fountains of heaven. Because that's what you desire from us. Thank you for that and I bless your name. This is the name of Thanksgiving. Amen. Go out there today, my dear friends. Be a fountain of living water wherever you go. Stay blessed.